Hello and welcome back to another Andrew Marshall Fitness YouTube video. Today we are going to be covering a day of eating. Full day of eating, start through finish. From me, I'm from in this introduction a wee bit later than the first, first clip because everybody's up, up the bed now. Um, but going to be walking you through absolutely everything throughout the day that I'm going to consume. I am on, uh, I'll put the macros in the screen, can't remember at the moment. <laughs> in a mini cup phase at the moment, down from a lean bulk. Also, if you would like a chance to win a completely free coaching call with myself, to talk about your goals and how you can move forward over the next few months, stick it out to the end. I'm going to show you exactly how to do so. So, it's quite early in the morning. <laughs> it's like five o'clock. Um, but today I'm going to be taking you through a day of eating. Um, I'll do some sort of intro before this as well later on in the day. But um, this is going to be you know, some bacon medallions. Now I'm just going to peel the fat off of those. Some mushrooms and some French toast. So two eggs, probably one slice of this, or two slices of that, sorry. A couple of bacon diamonds and some mushrooms as well. And that's gonna cook it up in the pan. So that's how it looks as it's just cooking up. So we've got the silver dough with some eggs and French, the French toast there essentially. Got the bacon here, with a little bit of mushrooms. You probably use more mushrooms, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> These only take like a couple of minutes, nothing major. Um, and that should be almost ready um, but this is going to be meal one so this is my meal one bacon french toast essentially mushrooms do you put your tomato ketchup or your sauce in the fridge or in the cupboard comment below fridge or cupboard get a conversation going <laughs> so about half five or something like that next meal will probably be around half half eight nine um you know, train mid morning as well. So, meal two, uh, so, so, as I clean the camera here, is going to be my pre workout meal. So, I've got some cocoa powder here, some sweetener. I'm going to mix that with protein to make like a paste almost. And then it'll be going on a couple of snack jacks. I'll show you that in a minute. But that is what I'm using fine dark cocoa powder. Um, just 100%, there's no sugar or anything like that in it. I'm not only using a couple of teaspoons, and it's good to go. So, this is meal two. I've got three of these. These are excellent. Three of these cakes. Also got a coffee for pre-workout, some water, again water's up around probably two and a half litres already so far this morning and it's around 9.30 and then that is, you'll see my paste, so that is like my protein paste. So all I do is like, it's kind of thick, trying to do this with one hand and I'll just spread that on the rice cakes. That is an ideal pre-workout snack, nice lean protein and carbs. Going to be training probably around an hour to an hour and a half now. If you're someone who's a nine to fiver, who's busy, who's got work, who does have the luxury like me of training in the middle of the day, then what I would recommend is having something like those rice cakes and protein first thing in the morning. Or if you're training after your work, have something before you leave. Have something like that's portable on the go. You can have that anywhere, a protein bar. Or just have the shakes and the rice cake. You don't need to make the paste and things like that. That is an excellent, excellent, excellent pre-workout snack. What is your favourite pre-workout snack or pre-workout meal? Let me know below. We'd love to hear some thoughts um, and we'll see you in the next meal. Next meal, I suppose it's not really a meal, but <laughs> it's like pre-workout. Get some glutamine there. I'm just using that for flavour, honestly. Taurine, that's going to help bring me down after the workout. And some creatine. That's it. I'm going to bring that during my workout, put it in that water, and I'm good to go. It's literally, it's five past eleven. I'm going to go and head into the gym just now. No, the gym. My home gym. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. And then... From there, go and work out, and I'll have a meal almost straight away after. Maybe give it 10, 15 minutes after I've got wash and change and things like that, and straight into it the next meal after that. So, third full meal and post workout is going to be beef, which has already been prepared. That's just cooked up, so it's just heating up the stir fry. Some Singapore noodles from Tesco, and some stir fry veg. Just mix that all together. I'm going to add in some soy sauce as well, and a bit of sweet chilli, and that is going to be my post workout meal. Good source of protein, good source of carbs. Ideal about 20 minutes, 30 minutes post-workout. This is meal number three. Sorry. Meal number three, post-workout, around 30, 40 minutes post-workout. Just the wash, chill, change all that kind of stuff first. Let myself settle a bit, then have something to eat. No, no mental rush to jam something down your neck post-workout. Just eat within a reasonable time frame, a couple hours after and you're good to go. Protein and carb base for this one, lowering the fat side. 
just to help with the digestion and things like that. Uh, but that is meal number three. Oh, meal four is going to be this, so it's just chicken satay. Um, peanut chicken satay, again, we have a recipe on YouTube somewhere, or coming soon. One of these, McKay Jack potatoes, five minutes away microwave are done, and some peas. Now, you can prep all of this up. This could be you sitting potatoes in there, peas on the side. I now have the luxury of being able to cook it in the house, which is fine. But, um, that shouldn't stop you from making a meal with something like this up. So meal number four is half past three, nearly, as you can see there. Um, and this is meal number four. That is meal number three, we've got the chicken satay, peas and the baked potato. If you want to make that more easier to take on the go rather than microwaving the potato, just use some rice, some basmati white rice would work really well with that. It's chicken satay anyway, I'm just a bit bold of white rice at the moment. But that's meal number four, I'll put the calories and macros on the screen as well. And we'll see it probably at the final meal of the day. It's now half three. I'll probably have my last one around just after seven, and that'll be me for the night. So this is my final meal for the evening. Grenade bar, brunch bar, and some collagen powder. Going to use about 50 grams of that collagen powder, a wee bit of protein to make up for the rest of the day. That concludes everything for the day of eating. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know what you enjoyed. What was, what was the most out there meal that you've seen in there? Would you like to see more of these? Um, if you would, please let me know below. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this, and of, of course, put to an end of this video, but I don't care. Um, please leave a like and subscribe also if you haven't done so already. See you in the next one. Hopefully you've enjoyed that video. If you did, smash the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And for those who haven't done so, get your completely free custom meal plan at the link in the description. Go there now, get your free meal plan. There's also going to be a couple of videos right here to the side that you can watch next. Let me know how you enjoy them and comment below.